Battle we're back again, back with the Indestructible Equipment X. Uh, we can get right into it this week. It's covered quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to give y'all a little warning. I've got a hurt rib, so I might not be able to perform all these techniques right. But I'm trying my best. I wanted to show well, another takedown from the collar and inside tie, inside tie so y'all can build your set of attacks from there. And uh, you know the steering wheel that Keenan showed us to be able to maneuver your opponent where you want. Takedowns we know so far. We've got the single leg, we've got to try and come off the far leg, hit the single however you want. Myself, I like to chill, maybe right if I need to. Last week I showed I need to pop open, dig in the underhook, snap down. Get the front headlock, snap down on your underhook side. Today I'm going to show, you I want to show a pull and pop set up into a high crotch, into a double leg. Here. The, the hand you want to high see your opponent with, you want that same side leg, in, in this case my opponent. left, you want to position it around the middle of your opponent. Left leg in between my opponent. I'll come around. This hand is uh, on the clinch. You're going to bring your opponent down. Once your legs are in position, you're going to pull their head clinch down. You're going to pop their elbow up. You you're going to bring elbow, your hands in, hand under, uh, clinch, all while doing the level down. change. This is popping up and you're level changing. Your hands in close. Now, you want your penetration, power of your penetration to come from your back leg. Your front leg is just serving as a marker, more specifically your knee. You just want your knee to shoot as far as you can towards your opponent. A common mistake a lot of times when you first try this is you're going to fail to eliminate the space. You're going to come here, a lot of times you come up, you won't get far enough, your opponent's just going to sprawl on you. And now you're the best in your front headlock. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be there with weapon X there. So, you get there, you're in the inside clinch, you bring your opponent down. They'll probably reflexively just want to bring their neck up. You get there, quickly change your level. You want to use that head clinch to keep your Shoot opponent closer leg. than I did here. Uh, you want to penetrate right. that knee further than I did right there. Have your here. back up straight. Have your head against your opponent's hip. Spin around. You're going to switch, switch hands. Switch hands on the leg. This back leg is going to swish her over. So you've got the angle to run them across this way. You're going to get the catch of the other leg. This leg is going to try to beat both their legs over there across the angle. Bring your opponent down. Now, I want to start showing y'all cradle attacks. Because there's a ton of offense in cradles. A ton of offense. I think right now, until more wrestlers get in, Get ahead of the game. You can learn to attack from the cradles. I wanted to show this cradle first attack first because I highly recommend yeah. drilling as much as you can, learning to go from this near side cradle to a far side cradle. And around their head, and you lock up an S strip. For the S strip, is it'll protect your fingers. The key point is you're going to use your elbows to bring your elbows in to tighten it up. If you're just a really got really long arm, you're going to get some smaller opponent. You might have to do a butterfly grip. Even then, just squeeze your elbows in. I would say, why are you going to get that much smaller? But either way, <laughs> so underneath the leg, around the head, tighten your opponent up. First thing you do, you're going to drop to your hip. So you can bring your and high leg, leg your first leg over. You bring your knee in. Punch, this first punch leg. their first leg. So this knee comes through. So let's come around here. This knee's in. After that, after you high leg and got that leg over, you can back step, back leg over. And it has a double punch. Now, come out a good. Uh, this is probably a good spot. You need to rest. Really, put it on your opponent right here. You make their knee touch your head. This is a real powerful spot right here. Now, once you're ready to go, you're gonna come across this leg right here. is gonna be on top of their, on top of your opponent. It's important to staple down your opponent's bottom leg right there. When you're ready. You're gonna replace the hand right here. And get the other arm. This one's going to come through their leg. Now, now you're on the far side trail. Do not be on your knees right here. Once you're on I was the far trying not side, to be too heavy on Xander. What you want to do is you want to push your chest plate as hard as you can against your up. opponent. Like you're going to do a diamond push up. Now, if this is MMA, you be able to control the bottom arm. You've got strikes. Some people get real good. Trap bow arms. Now, if you're in a self defense thing, not me. I carry a rape whistle everywhere I go. Avoid <laughs> any possibility. I like to be totally right on other muscles. Security and safety. <laughs> but if you're into that self defense thing, that's there you go. So, so you've been warned. Here. See me out. Don't start anything. Uh, I will here. blow my rape whistle. Next, you're going to bring your leg up and you're going to try to walk your opponent up. Push 
brought your opponent up. Oh, this is a key spot right here. You're going to shoot your arm down to the outside. Down right here. When you first try this, that's a key spot a lot of people miss. You're going to wonder why you can't get this hook in, but that's a key point. So you're here, you're going to shoot that arm through. That's going to open up the space. When you go to throw your hook in, try to trap their arm, but if you miss it, it's no big deal. Now from here, you can go for the guillotine. You can go over your head, you grab your own leg, but it's riskier, and I wouldn't really recommend it unless you were low on time. I don't really recommend that, but if you're low on time, that's an option. But right here, you've got this. You're going to side off, and you're going to bring your opponent back. Now, you can throw your other leg over right around the butt, and you got them hooked up right here. And you're going to just squeeze and chill. <laughs> now your opponent, as you squeeze, they're, eventually they're going to want to just take that leg out. You're going to time it as you let go. This hand right here, back hand. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to recommend all y'all start getting used to just anytime you go for that rear naked choke, come with the back. Those, you come with this front and they start pulling your wrist, you're just stuck right here. You come with this back and they grab your, say, they grab your wrist, you can just come down. So make a habit of that. So here, you're going to come in and slap. I like to do one-on-one, -on -one. Grab, grab this. Now you can just try to tie it where you let go of the one-on-one. -on -one. You do right there. I recommend all y'all start getting the habit of finishing these rear naked chokes with one arm. So come in here, get the one-on-one. -on -one. Bury your chin inside her neck. I, I recommend that totally because one of these days you're going to need that one arm rear naked choke and <laughs> you don't know how to do it, it's not going to be there, it could cost you a match. So start making a habit of that. So you're here. And now if you, you can keep your leg back here, but you can also time it if you need the points. You could always just try to get your hook in. Same thing. Finish however you want. But we're going to run through the whole thing one time. Actually, I like here, move your front around, come through, bring this out high, and then you're gonna bring your front down, pop their elbow. I messed up right here. Have okay. your legs in the position ready to shoot before you even let them change. Shoot through, switch off, run the double, lock up your cradle, bunch your first leg up, high leg up, you're gonna high leg over, bunch, back leg over, double bunch. Work your way around, push off. Now you're on the far side cradle. You're gonna bring your opponent up. And then you're gonna yank. Go to the spot with your leg in. And then pull your opponent back. Pull them, pull them. Time it. Right here, your, weapon, your opponent's weapon X. Pinch the nose, <laughs> gouge the eyes, club. Start talking about race for lens photography. <laughs> I need me a discount on a self portrait. <laughs> Side of the mountain, you feel the flowers, something that, you know, feels the basic white girls. And that's a wrap. <laughs>